What's up with the YouTube fam, man? I'm back again with another video. Look, man, I thought this story was fake as hell until I did some research and found some news clips over it. So we're going to go ahead and watch it. Listen, man, for those who don't know what the hell going on, it's a damn fool in Detroit who had a weed vending machine outside of his house. <laughs> man, this damn fool got caught. You know what I'm saying? The feds end up getting him. He basically started telling on himself from what I read, but we're going to find out more about it. That's why I like these news clips so we get more details about these situations. So if you're going to go ahead and watch it, I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't want to be talking at any point in time, all you got to do is just get up off here, go find it somewhere else if you can find it. If you can't, I really don't give a damn about you no way. But to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, y'all already know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. All I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me and tell what y'all feel about everything in the comment section and add my second YouTube channel too as well if y'all want to add that. It's called Carlos King too. That's if y'all want to add any of that. If y'all I don't want to add none of that. I'm not doing no tripping on none of that. But let's get into it and see what the hell is going on with this damn idiot. Federal agents <laughs> making an unusual find at a home on Detroit's Very. west side. Investigators say a man was operating a vending machine that dispensed marijuana. The amount of money they say he pocketed was astounding. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows you the evidence and just how the feds made the discovery. The family of Marcellus Cornwell did not want to say anything on his behalf to us, but there's a video <laughs> going around on social media that may tell investigators all they need to know. You know, he was shocked that we came there. Um, as far as some of the other things were going on with him, you know, natural human reaction, like, oh, look, I got caught. On the side of this house in Detroit's west side is where federal investigators say they found the marijuana vending machine belonging to 43-year-old Marcellus Cornwell. And this video shared with us by ATF is part of the evidence they've collected. Watching the video on YouTube, and you can watch somebody walk up, Damn. they can either uh, insert a $20 bill, they can insert how much ever, whatever denomination they wanted, even for credit cards, walked up, insert the form of payment, Selected the uh, amount of marijuana that you wanted. Uh, <laughs> hey. you it, came out in a little hopper, and you just stuck your hand in. You had little bags of marijuana at your disposal. Listen, hey. man. People always got to mess up a good thing, bro. Look how easy y'all had it out there, bro, to serve. People always want to go viral on the fucking internet. Weird and lame as hell. You gonna record your plug, basically. You know what I'm saying, man? That's so convenient. All you gotta do is pull up, put your money in, and keep it pushing, man. You ain't gotta deal with nobody, talk to nobody. Easy transaction. But he's so stupid, you know. It's hard to convict somebody with something if you can't catch them serving hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? So, so for him to actually admit to certain things is just weird to me. But you never know. They probably scared the hell out of him. And a lot of people who be in the streets these days can't even accept the consequences with the shit that they get involved with, man. For real, for real. They're telling everybody. They already have it in their mind. If I get caught, I'm telling. You know what I'm saying? But these yeah. damn idiots then recorded an easy transaction they can go deal with anytime, any day. You know what I'm saying? Just for a couple of likes and views and shit. Let's get back into it though. ATF agents say Cornwell was making about $2,000 a day and damn. he eventually told them the marijuana vending machine was up for about four years. Oh the my God, he's done. The public, no controls about who can have access to it. Uh, minors, you know, uh, persons who are not authorized to have that. That's a little bit of a problem. Cornwell's yeah. criminal history dates back to the yeah. early 90s. His convictions include armed robbery, felony firearm, and identity theft. Shit. So he's not even supposed to be in possession of a damn firearm. Damn fool. But federal investigators... So he's a felon in possession of a firearm with a damn <laughs> vending machine on the side of his house that's selling weed. And then he making $2,000 a day. You know how dumb you... You know how dumb and greedy you gotta be, man. I can make two or three hundred thousand doing something like this and quit. You know what I'm saying? Invest it to some shit. But you know people get too comfortable these days, man. How dumb can you be? Then you got the nerve to be shocked like you didn't know you was gonna end up getting caught, man. You dumb fucker. Let's get back into it. Then you're convicted feeling with a damn firearm in the house, man. You just dumb, bro. Let's get back into it. They found 18 guns in the house. 18. He oh, told him he's lived in all of his life. Investigators say some of the guns were reported stolen. Oh yeah, and he's Cornwell going to jail. Eventually told ATF agents that he he's bought most of the guns off of the street, mm -hmm. and he was aware he was not allowed to possess them. I have to say the brazenness of it. Um, was this fucker said he knew he wasn't supposed to have the guns and all of this, man. He just telling on himself, man, just tripping. <laughs> man, this damn fool should have shut the hell up because it's a major possibility that some of these charges probably wouldn't even stick, man. For real, for real. But let's get back into it, though. God damn. was shocking. I think the number of firearms that we found in, in connection with it was very shocking, very disturbing. Federal he, he agents say they're still investigating allegations that Cornwell sold drugs and guns to minors. But the big thing is, look, you do this stuff inside a, a neighborhood, People are going to take notice, and they're going to get mad, and they're going to want something done about it, and that's exactly what my agents did. Cornwell's defense attorney said he cannot comment on the pending case. On Detroit's <laughs> website, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. He already told it, yeah. Hey. Hey. 
Hold on, wait a minute. No, not chips or a candy bar. That like comes these. after what you get out of this vending machine. I used it probably like four or five times. The voice of an anonymous customer and the one who took this viral video of how the marijuana vending machine works. He was selling like souvenirs. That's code, obviously. Machine took credit cards, even Apple Pay. It's an excellent service. <laughs> I think that it just got out of hand. It's just things you can't do. That video there says it all. The feds, the <laughs> ATF, they've oh. seen it all. But a marijuana vending oh. machine bolted to the side of someone's house on the west Ooh. side of Detroit. That's a new one. You know, I have to say the brazenness of it um, was was shocking. Before this mugshot, 43-year-old Marcellus Cornwell was raking it in. Well, we were hearing the estimates were about $2,000 a day. Allegedly operating for four years. Entrepreneurial at its best. Unfortunately, both things were illegal. The both the ATF is referring to Cornwell being investigated for selling guns no. out of this house off Meditel Street, possibly to minors. 18 firearms seized from the home, including a sawed-off shotgun. As far as where these firearms originated from and the crimes they might have been a part of, we're still looking into that. Business being too good, Cornwell's downfall. Look, you do this stuff inside a, a neighborhood, People are going to take notice and they're going to get mad. He's racking up a new felony charge on top of six other prior felony convictions. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 New. Man, they could add all type of charges to this, man. Child endangerment, all type of different shit, bro. Especially with all them different firearms that are stolen, too. Man, his ass finna go to jail. He finna tell it. You know what I'm saying? He already telling every damn thing he can tell. Now, I can't still print call this man a snitch. This is just my opinion on this situation. I feel like he is going to tell because he's already basically telling everything that he knows right now. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, don't let your greed get in the way of a good thing, man. For real, for real. Once you done hit you a lick, man, keep it pushing, bro. But some people get so greedy, man, they let greed blind them and they just get to doing the dumbest shit you can do, man, because this is dumb as hell. If I done hit a lick so hard, like this man i would have stopped after the first year i would have stopped after i got my first hundred or two hundred out of the situation I ain't gonna lie to you man for real for real two hundred thousand and let me be specific when i speak about this type of shit man but yeah man yeah, i wouldn't be this dumb to do nothing like this no way but if i was to get into some shit like this man i would make sure that it was very profitable for me and i would have got up out of there real quick but i'm not gonna just do no dumb shit like this cuz had apple pay <laughs> he had credit card slots and there all type of different things man he had it going on for a little brief second bro he should just went ahead and opened up a dispensary like this versus doing all this extra shit that he just did you know what i'm saying he could have invested that money into the dispensary so fast and got so far away with it man but you know you get so many signs you know what i'm saying over time to the point where when you ignore them you start getting the repercussions of it you know what i'm saying you gotta start reaping what you sow but overall man he's a dumb fucker you know what i'm saying whatever he get that's on him he should have never did this dumb ass shit that's all i gotta say about the whole situation i'll holler at y'all a little bit later on another video though man and make sure you ain't out here letting your greed get in the way of your lifestyle you know what i'm saying because once you get involved with certain things and you get what you want out of the situation man keep it pushing bro but don't sit there and try to milk a situation until you can't milk it no more because you know you're gonna go to jail you know what i'm saying plain and simple like that but i'll holler at y'all a little bit later on another video though all right um minors you know, uh, persons who are not authorized to have that, that's a little bit of a problem. Cornwell's criminal history dates back to the early 90s. His convictions include armed robbery, felony firearm, and identity theft. So he's not even supposed to be in possession of a firearm. But federal investigators say they found 18 guns in the house that he told them he's lived in all of his life. Investigators say some of the guns were reported stolen. And Cornwell allegedly told ATF agents that he bought most of the guns off of the street. And he was aware he was not allowed to possess them. I have to say the brazenness of it um, was, was shocking. I think the number of firearms that we found in, in connection with it was very shocking, very disturbing. Federal agents say they're still investigating allegations that Cornwell sold drugs and guns to minors. But the big thing is, look, you do this stuff inside a, a neighborhood, people are going to take notice and they're going to get mad and they're going to want something done about it. And that's exactly what my agents did. Cornwell's defense attorney said he cannot comment on the pending case. On Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Hey, hey hold up, wait a minute. No, not chips or a candy bar. That comes after what you get out of this vending machine. I used it probably like four or five times. The voice of an anonymous customer and the one who took this viral video of how the marijuana vending machine works. He was selling like souvenirs. That's code, obviously. Machine took credit cards, even Apple Pay. It's an excellent service. I think that it just got out of hand. It's just 
things you can't do. That video there says it all. The feds, the ATF, they've seen it all. But a marijuana vending machine bolted to the side of someone's house on the west side of Detroit, that's a new one. Yeah, I have to say the brazenness of it. Um, was was shocking. Before this mugshot, 